shark. For most of us, a terror-inducing word. And this Labor Day weekend, sharks are already sending vacationers scattering as several Cape Cod beaches are forced to close after sightings close to shore. So, who would be crazy enough to voluntarily jump into shark-infested waters? That would be our Nick Watt with an encore presentation. The beach is all about swimming, surfing, paddling, playing, but we've all seen Jaws. We all remember that music. And in the back of every beachgoer's mind lurks the fear of the fin. Somewhere out there, the Great White. We've come to meet one of the most feared, demonized, and endangered predators on Earth face to face. This is arguably the most shark-infested water on Earth. Pass the water, Nick. Cold. And now we're in it. Visibility is bad. We know the great whites are here, but we can't see them. Blood and guts will entice passing sharks. A tuna head will draw them headlong at our cage. But where are they? I'm flinching at shadows, disoriented and scared. Then, suddenly, this prehistoric predator is 15 feet lean, mean, killing machine. Hundreds of teeth and an insatiable appetite. Holy sh! His fin was about that far away. You can see his gills. Oh, if I was brave, I could touch him. After a few anxious minutes, he's back, and great whites have an attack speed of 45 feet a second. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hang on, why are we doing this? Well, because the Great White is in trouble. Sharks are older than the dinosaurs, but now the king of the ocean is in danger of extinction. Julie Anderson is a New York-based conservationist, Alison Cock, a South African marine biologist. They call themselves the Shark Angels. Today, a research trip off the coast of Cape Town. It's not like whales or dolphins where people want to care about them. 100 million sharks are killed a year. A lot of people don't know that, and then when they do know that, they say, so what, you know, why should I care? Why should we care, particularly about the merciless, man-eating great white? White sharks are apex predators, and predators are essential to the health of an ecosystem. The great white population has dropped 70% in 50 years. They're hunted for their infamous jaws, teeth and fins, and many drown in nets designed to keep swimmers and surfers safe. There she is. Come on, old girl. You want it now? You want it? After four years of fearless tagging on these waters, Alison has discovered things we never knew. Oh. Yes, you do. In wintertime, great whites gorge themselves here at Seal Island, but where do they go in summer? Now we know. They go to the beach like the rest of us. Through the research, we've actually found that um, in summertime, they're moving closer to shore. So at the time of year that we're swimming, the sharks are hunting in shallow water. But she says sharks don't want to eat humans. Most of the time, they don't actually um, eat the person. And uh, it's a bite and release. And we believe that's mostly investigation. Uh, they simply don't know what we are. Back in the cage, I'm still trying to decide whether I do want to share my planet with this. Enough is enough. Almond, the producer, a ball of nervous energy. How was that? I was almost lost for words. Glad I did that. I don't think I'd ever want to do it again. I still hate great whites, but now I do admire them. From this close, it's hard not to. They've survived 20 million years in our ocean. Now our grudging respect might be all that saves them from extinction. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in South Africa.